In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question to sort a linked list of zeros, ones, and twos. So the problem statement is given a linked list which only consists of zeros, ones, and twos. Write a code to sort a linked list. So let's see the example. So in this example, you can see uh, we have a linked list which has only three uh, numbers: zero, one, and two and the output of this linked list is a sorted linked list in which zero comes first then ones then twos so in this tutorial uh, i'll discuss how we can solve this problem in an efficient way suppose we have this linked list of zeros ones and twos in an unsorted order and we have to sort this linked list so you are thinking why not we use any sort uh, why not we use sorting algorithm to sort this linked list we can but the time complexity of this approach is o n log n so we know that this linked list only contains zeros ones and twos so is there any other approach by using which we can solve this problem in in minimum time complexity let's see so what we can do is we can keep track of number of zeros ones and twos present in this linked list and then we can place them in a correct position so either you can use three variable to keep track of number of zeros ones and twos or you can declare an array of size 3 in which you can uh, track the number of zeros ones and twos corresponding to uh, to the array indexes so let's see so if we declare an array of size 3 so its indexes are 0 1 and 2 and in which we can keep track of number of zeros ones and twos present in this linked list so let's start with 2 so initial value of these indexes is 0 so let's start with 2 we can increment its count to 1 then the next value is 0 uh, we can increment its index value then 2 now it's incremented to 2 then 1 so its value is 1 and next is 0 so it's 2 so now we know the number of zeros ones and twos present in this linked list so here I have declared an array of size 3 and its initial value is 0 then we have traversed our linked list and we have maintained the number of zeros ones and twos present in this linked list now the uh, now we have the count of zeros ones and twos the next thing we have to do is to place them in a correct position we have the count of zeros ones and twos present in this linked list now let's see how we can place uh, these values at the correct position in this linked list so that we can sort our linked list so uh, let's see so we have a variable tamp of node type which points to uh, the first node of a linked list and i have declared one variable i so i corresponds to the uh, index of an array so when i is 1 so we know we have to put two uh, num uh, two zeros at their current position then i'll increment the value of i then the next value is 1 so we have to put 1 to their correct position and uh, let's see how we can uh, do that so we traverse our linked list until it points to null so uh, when temp points to null it means the end of a linked list so now we start traversing our linked list and if the value of count array i so the value present at this index is equal to equal to 0 it means we have placed all the uh, nodes of 0 at their current position and we need to move to the next index so the value of uh, at uh, the value present at this index is not 0 so we have to move to else condition and here what we are doing is we put the value i mean the 
data part of this node is equal to the value of i and then we decrement the count of uh, this index the value present at this index and then we move to next node so let's see so the first uh, so at this uh, at, at, uh, at the data part we have to assign the current value of i so current value of i is 0 so let's assign 0 here and decrement its value so new value is 1 and let's move to the next node so now still this condition is not true so what we do is we put 0 here we decrement the value of uh, the value present at this index now the new value is 0 and we have to move to the next index okay now this time this condition is true so what we do is we increment the value of i so let's i points at this index and in next iteration so the value present at this index is not equal to zero so we move to the else part so here we put one decrement its value zero and move to the next node so now the value is 0 and we have to increment the value of i so again we repeat this process so we put 2 here then we put 2 here and after uh, this step we came out of this loop and we return the reference of this temp node so now you can see we have sorted this linked list and the time complexity of this approach is o n and its space complexity is o1 so if i run this code let's see its output so we we have this linked list so it's an unsorted linked list and after sorting we get the sorted linked list so i'll mention the code link in the description box so uh, that's it for this video tutorial and for more such programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video